Hi, we're Hackberry Tea. I'm Zoe. And I'm Carla. And you want me to keep going? I don't know. I was just I don't know. You you... Hi, we're Hackberry Tea. I'm Zoe. And I'm Carla. And today we are going to be tasting two different black teas, our Yuna Noir and our Golden Monkey. Mm -hmm. We're going to be comparing their flavors, their aromas, talking about their similarities, differences, and talking a little bit about the price difference between the yes. two. And some of their features. They look different, mm -hmm. they smell different, they brew the same, but uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and explain all of that. So first, we're going to start by brewing the tea. We've got it all ready to go. We've got our tea bag ready and our water ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring. And then we'll Perfect. time it to about four minutes at 212 degrees. So while these are brewing, I have my timer on to four minutes. So I kinda wanted to talk about what these look like. If you look at the Yunnan Noir, it is curled up, and these are hand curled. If you know anything about teas that are pearls or curled like this, they're um, optimal for re-steeping. So you get a great value from this tea because as it unfurls, you get the whole leaf, which provides you bold flavor. And so while the tea is brewing, let's talk about some of the features of the tea. Here is the Yunnan Noir, which you can tell is curled. These are hand curled, which is great for re-steeping. So you can enjoy a great cup of tea over and over and over using the same leaves. Tea that unfurls like this, you get a full flavor because you get more of the tea leaf as opposed to other teas that are maybe pieces of the leaf. But anytime you see something that is curled, most likely means you have the full leaf, which will give you a bold flavor that you can enjoy over and over and over by re-steeping. So if I smell it, it smells very much like a you know traditional black tea, but we'll go ahead and taste the difference between the Yunnan Noir and the Golden Monkey and let you know what we taste. Do you want to smell that? that? Mm, yes, very rich. So here we have the Golden Monkey tea. And as you can see, every tea leaf has a hint of gold at the tip. And it's called Golden Monkey because it resembles the tail of the Golden Monkeys in China. Wow. So if you smell it, it's like the Yunnan, but a little bit sweeter. Oh yeah, there's definitely yeah, a difference Yeah, a very smooth, smell. sweet scent. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. And I think my four minutes are up, but one thing I wanted to say before I forget is that Yunnan is the birthplace of tea, which is one of the reasons that uh, we really wanted to feature this, this tea. It's always great to learn more about the origins of the, the teas that, and where they come from. So we're gonna go ahead and clear out the tea bags and we'll be back in a minute to taste the teas. All right, so the tea is officially brewed, and as you can see, their appearance is very similar, yeah, as they're both similar. black teas. I don't, mm -hmm. I can't really see a difference between the two. No, not really. Very just golden brown. And even after they they were fully brewed, the uh, tea itself looks pretty similar. So yeah. After the after it unfurls, mm -hmm. uh, after they have brewed, the tea leaf looks very similar. So it'd yes. be hard to tell any difference. But we're gonna go ahead and taste it now and talk we'll about the difference. difference. So, yeah. should we start with Golden Monkey? Sure. Okay. So this one I can tell is definitely a sweet, a sweeter tea. Yeah, it's very smooth on the palate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, usually with black teas, there's a little bit more bitterness because yeah. of the tannin levels. This but with this really one, it one. doesn't really come across bitter at all. No, that's really nice. You might not, if. You might not even need to sweeten it if you are someone no. that is looking for a sweeter tea. Yeah, that's really no nice. No sugar or cream with that one. All right, very very good. You ready for Yunnan Noir? Yes. Yeah, even just the Ooh. aroma. Yeah, it's just a lot it's a stronger. It's a lot stronger. It really it's got a stands bolder out. flavor. Mm -hmm. It has um, a little bit more of that bitterness that you would expect from a black tea. But I wonder if that's because it's curled, and so you'll get a little yes. bit of a bolder it's flavor with that. It's packed full with the flavor. It's kind of what I expected. That's a really good flavor. Now, what do you like better and why? Hmm. I mean, both are delicious. I would say... You're an iced tea drinker. So if I am an making, iced tea drinker. I think if you prefer iced tea, I would go with the Yunnan Noir. Mm. Um, just because it's a little bit bolder in flavor, so it'll kind of cut through the ice uh -huh. a little bit stronger. Yeah, I can see that. Coffee or tea or whatever, I'm more of a hot beverage drinker. And yes. so... I like the Yunnan Noir when I'm looking for something mm -hmm. that has that rich bitterness. I like that bitterness um, in my tea and my coffee. So this is really good, but I can see how that one is, it's so smooth and so nice yeah. that it really is something I would I would get when I'm not looking for no, this a is, standard black tea. This is absolutely delicious. 
Yeah, they're both really, really good. If you had to pick between Golden Monkey and Yuna Noir, why would you pick one over the other? Like, what's so special about Golden Monkey? If you look at the price of Golden Monkey, one would think, mm -hmm. why would I spend $9 for a sample yeah. of Golden Monkey? That seems absurd, and I understand, but Golden Monkey is extremely rare. It's only harvested during the spring, and when it's harvested, they only pluck the tips of the plant because that's where all the nutrients and all the flavor is packed. Wow. Yeah. So you don't get the full leaf, you're just getting the Not tip. Not the full leaf, just the tip, and that's wow. actually why that's where they get that golden color. Uh -huh. It's just that's from the That's really tip. interesting. Yeah. That's really, really interesting. And the flavor alone is probably the smoothest black tea mm -hmm. that you can ever drink. Yeah. When I taste, we tasted like three different black teas mm -hmm. earlier, and this one was a clear standout. Yeah, it really was. The flavor is really, really good. And then you, the Yuna Noir, why would I pick that one? I mean, I know that it's even a little, what, a little cheaper than the Darjeeling. Yes. And, um, but it's a great value. I think it's a great value because Absolutely. of the steeping quality. It's a premium black tea that can be enjoyed over and over. Mm -hmm. Anytime you can re-steep the tea, you really increase the value of that tea. So, I mean, I think when it comes to value and getting more for the money I'm spending, I would definitely pick that. But I can see why the rarity of that really interests mm -hmm. me. Along with its delicious flavor, you actually get a lot of health benefits because of the way it's plucked and how there's natural nutrients in the tip of the plant leaf. If you want more information on any of our teas, their flavor, their taste, their health benefits, go ahead and check out our blog. If you do this at home and if you taste different teas at home, put comments, subscribe to our channel, let us know your experience with these teas. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.